Jared Poland Fronos Photo com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Data Color, who's celebrating 50 years of innovating color excellence. Now, if my math is correct, that means they were founded in 1970. Stand by, we're checking it. Yes, that is correct. All right. In recognition of their 50th anniversary, Data Color is offering the Spider X Photo Kit, which normally sells for $400 for only $199 while supplies last. In the kit, you will find the Spider X Elite, Spider Cube, and Spider Checker 24, which has saved my ass many times in the studio. Oh, and oh yeah, it comes with this fancy case. For more information and to pick this kit up, head on over to datacolor.com slash fro. First up, Olympus is a quitter. They pulled out. Better out than in. They didn't even finish, and I 100% agree with what they did. And we did what we had to do. Olympus has officially pulled out of Photo Plus 2020, which is due to take place October 22nd through 24th in New York City. Now here's Olympus's statement. Dear valued customer and partners, of which Frono's photo is not one. Hey, that's not nice. Wow, wow. They used the pew, pew, pew fingers on me. With the global pandemic and increased risk to those in close quarters and to those who travel, we regret to inform you that we have made the difficult decision not to attend PPE 2020. Now, difficult decision? Come on. This is a no-brainer. You are doing the right thing. Plus, their booth was always a ghost town anyway. Time to break out the pew, pew, pew fingers on you, Olympus. Pew, 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 take that. Now I think companies have been looking for an out from PPE for years. Just look at what Sony did last year. They scrapped PPE altogether and rented their own building down the street to hold their own event. And guess what? It was packed. There's no conceivable way I can see PPE happening this year. Now, I personally love going to shows. I love meeting hundreds and hundreds of people at these events. I like shaking hands, I like taking selfies, and then pulling out my hand sanitizer a million times because my hands are now dirty with germs. But with what's going on, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Hashtag buy PPE, it's been fun to get to know you. Hashtag buy PPE, it's time for you to go. Next up, Sigma has announced, and I have already reviewed what they've announced because they've announced the 100 to 400 millimeter F5 to 6.3 OS mirrorless lens for Sony E-mount cameras. That's right, this lens has been designed from the ground up and is specifically made for mirrorless cameras. Wait, it's designed for mirrorless cameras? And it's a Sigma lens? And Sigma's a part of the Oh my God. Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, you're right. This lens is a part of the Earl Mount Alliance. Let's be honest, the only reason I am doing this story is so I could yell that out, right? Wrong. The reason is I was lucky enough to get a pre-production hand-built lens to test out for a few days to give it a little real world review. Now since the zoo is closed and I normally take the 100 to 400 out to the zoo, I borrowed little Dan as well as my niece and nephew. Now I was very happy with the results I was getting, at least outside. The zoom range is great for allowing me to stay far away, but also reach out and grab the images that I want. The OS was fine, the focus speed was fine, the quality was fine, the weight was fine, the size was fine. Now speaking of size, just look how compact this lens is in this person's hands. Man, I see it. Now for reference, that's 7.8 inches. Yep, yep, looks familiar to me. Oh, thank you. Sigma is pushing the compact nature of this lens, but the funny thing is the older DSLR version is actually slightly shorter. Now another thing they pushed is called dual action zoom, and I have to say I don't recommend ever using this method. Talk about losing stability. The further you extend your arm out, the less stable your camera becomes. Now at the end of the day for $950, this is the best ultra zoom lens you can get for the Sony E mount, especially when comparing it just to the price of Sony's $2,500 100 to 400 millimeter offering. Now just remember, this is a lens that you use outside for pretty much anything from capturing kids to sports to portraits to wildlife. It's not gonna cut it indoors having a 
6.3 aperture. Now, will you be picking one of these up? Let me cut in here and remind you, it's the last week to get your random I Shoot Raw shirt for only $11.99 each, which is in honor of their original launch price from 2010. 10 years. That's right, you can get a random shirt, including maybe this disco version. That's right. Head on over to bit.ly slash raw10yr to pick up as many as you would like. Right meow. Meow. And finally, Canon Rumors has dropped a bunch of, of, of well, rumors about Canon. In this massive leak, Canon Rumors is claiming to finally know the official release date of the EOS R5 and R6 and six new lenses. And that date is July 9th. Take a look at this mirrorless Motley crew because front and center you have five mirrorless R cameras including the R5 and R6 followed by a ton of RF glass including a back row of lenses that I honestly have no clue what the hell they might be. I mean, look at the size of that lens in the center. Is that the rumored 800 F11? But the leaking of the July 9th date isn't the only significant leak. Canon Rumors published new specs for the R6 and when I read them, this was my reaction. For real, I was like, what the f The R6 is rumored to have a 20 megapixel full frame sensor with in-body image stabilization that can shoot 12 frames per second mechanical and 20 frames per second electronic. On top of that, it will shoot oversampled 5K video, have Canon log 10-bit recording, zebra lines, animal and head detect AF, the same AF as the R5, a 5 million dot EVF, possibly to be priced under $2,500 and, and, have two SD card slots. Mind blown. You ever see that scene in Scanners when that dude's head blew up? Who are you, Canon? I thought I knew you, but I was dead wrong. Seriously though, if just the specs of the stills are right, Canon will sell a ton of these bodies. Now, I guess the only thing for us to do now is to wait for a potential announcement on July 9th and hope this hype is real. Some things never change. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.